this place is uh, filled. I mean, massively filled. We actually have more workers than we have uh, problems. So we're talking about moving to another location. We were going to go to Little Switzerland, but Bert there organized a National Guard helicopter to fly over. And he said, uh, looks like Little Switzerland is good to go. So we're still trying to find a place to go. So this is actually a good thing. We got more people than we have problems. There are problems out there, but we just don't know where they are. We got recon elements out to figure out where the problems are. And this is the chaos of the Roses parking lot. Lots of, uh, lots of helpers. We got the line of people. They're coming in down there by the Burger King and coming up. Like I said, lots and lots of helpers. We got reports that Candler has got 6,000 people with no food at all for six days. Problem is, we keep getting these reports and we don't know which one is true or not. So the biggest problem we have right now is we need more correct intel. And once we have the correct intel, then we can move out. So we're trying to find a place to go to that might actually need help. Too many helpers. Not enough, uh, not enough problems. And the steady flow of National Guard helicopters delivering supplies. Towns is our combo guy. Sean Towns is actually not a combo man. He's an infantry guy. He just volunteered for the work and stepped up to it. He made an antenna out of a disc trader. <laughs> what type of antenna is that? It's a, uh, a makeshift dipole antenna. There you go. <laughs> On some TikTok videos, they were saying that we were a white supremacist group, which is uh, kind of funny uh, because uh, the obvious. It's working. <laughs> this antenna's working. He's getting reception. Look at this. It's a distrator. Towns is now making a 40 inch widescreen TV out of a Pringles can and a gerbil cage. I've seen this on MacGyver one time. Yeah. I think he is MacGyver. The old MacGyver. No, this is Towns. He's Black Guyver. <laughs> it's the new version. There's our leader. He's going off to do a YouTube video. And eventually, this is going to be in YouTube, so. And we had one person that said they were kind of offended at us using Christian Rangers. And they, I don't know, they thought it was sacrilegious or something. But you got to understand, that's the name of the guerrilla team in Robin Sage. So it's not like we're some sort of weird militia group. It's just these are our Robin Sage guys. And uh, their guerrilla team, and me, actually, me and Bert here, we're the enemy. So this is a rare occasion where the enemy. In Robin Sage and the gorillas in Robin Sage are working hand in hand for the people of North Carolina. The UPA and the gorillas. Where's the ferret? Where's the ferret? Oh no, shit, I should have brought the ferret. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this morning we started off with a meeting with the EOC at the Emergency Operations Center with me and Micah. Um, linked up with uh, the folks there, got information of uh, possible hotspots, and we shot out. Uh, three reconnaissance elements uh, both all three of them are still out um, we also uh, got one dude that's out right now that identified a hot spot and we're pulling in we're pulling in a bunch of uh, supplies to him to help the, the folks out up on uh, I believe it's called Green Mountain um, they're doing all they're doing search and rescue it, it, it's really ugly up there so we're gonna shoot about three truckloads of stuff up there to them um, Coordinated with a uh, with helicopter guys, aerial aerial dudes. Coordinated with them to get an aerial reconnaissance on uh, up on the top of uh, they call it Little Switzerland to try to find out what the needs are in Little Switzerland. Uh, also had security element that went um, to deliver medications. Yeah, that was him. <laughs> to deliver medications uh, top of the mountain. And in route there, they ended up helping out uh, three different old elderly folks. 
Also coordinated uh, some chainsaw operations to get uh, folks that have got trees down across the driveway, trees on houses, stuff like that, to uh, get their stuff cleared off as well. Um, right now, this is abject chaos. Right now, the volunteers in Burnsville probably outnumber the town of Burnsville. So we're sitting here at the Save More in uh, Rose's parking lot. Uh, still got the ponies down the hill. We haven't personally had to saddle up yet. We, we're prepared to do that. While we've been sitting here, you sit here for more than 30 seconds and people will come up. Like we just had a woman, that woman right there, say she had a couple pallets. Yeah, I know, I, I got it on film. 160. Anyway, she had a couple pallets and wanted to know how to deliver it. Well, we just happened to have somebody who was, came back from Green Mountain. So we looked her up with our guy from Green Mountain and now they're going up there. We also had a woman over there who had the cooker, said she could cook hot dogs and hamburgers and feed oodles of people so we just kind of sucked her into our our group and we're going to use her too so i, I think we're setting up uh, a relay section in green mountain feeding and helping those people out in this video two air force pjs pararescues we're about to fast rope in to help find some bodies and try to rescue people yeah i swear i think the most valuable guy in this parking lot is right there the forklift guy shows up volunteer forklift and he's able to move all of this stuff and put it somewhere we just had our patrol come back from green mountain they said they smelled bodies and there were reports of bodies in the river but they could not find them they tried to find them but they couldn't uh green mountain may be where we base but we're not sure we're still trying to find a place to go I'm going to try anything. All right, we're getting kind of annoyed because the National Guard has sealed off an area. And they said you can't get in unless you're on government orders. But unfortunately, there's, they have a team in there and they can't communicate to them. We can. We got the radios. We've been talking to them. They can't. So they basically sealed us off from a team. Okay. a military team they were uh air force pjs uh that went in to find bodies so right now what's happening again is the personalities are conflicting you know we got too many people too many people out bosses they are going to and it's starting to get angry uh, at least give you the address that i've got so you can send your team up there we don't have communication with them they dropped them off the block the road there's no radio no nothing the general public is way more helpful than the government right now. Since last Saturday, the day after this happened, I've been turned around seven times by the government. I live in Virginia. I can't even go help my and own how long people. have you been suing search and rescue? 15 years. There you go. All right, right now, uh, Cam, Cameron's come back from his patrol, been out for the last four hours, five hours. Uh, so the word he brings back is, Green Mountain right now needs a heavy supply push. They got nothing on the ground, um, but you can only get up there with a side-by-side -side or a four-wheeler. Uh, objective one, vicinity pigeon roost. It's a church. They have a distro point, but they need resupply really, really bad. All right. Uh, while he was out, they made link up and called in a rotary wing PJ, uh, uh, PJ element um, for a body recovery. Um, Huntingdale Road needs a supply point. Um, there's, uh, there's a POC up there. He's a retired Green Beret. They're trying to work that out right now. As of right now, that is the total sit rep. As we sit at, oh, 1415. For October. For October. Murphy's Law. Now right, we got a problem. Uh, Bert's horse, Rock, got bit by something. And he ain't putting his weight on his leg, and they had pus coming out of it. Now we wrapped a bandage around it, whatever it was, and but there's supposedly there are, are three vets, horse vets, in the parking lot. So we're trying to find the horse vets, but this might be a huge problem if if the horse is broken, well, we're gonna have to take it home, which means we'll be out of this unless we come back. The Rock is an old war horse. He's a reenactor horse. He's a dragoon horse. 
been through many, many, many fucking battles. And uh, he's a good horse. Yeah, so we're kind of worried. Good news, three vets have arrived. I think we got the I think. Um, huh? No, he's eating it. Oh, he's eating he's sitting there. He's sitting there eating it. So... Just some getting, getting moving. With me. What do you say? Huh? I think he's got like a puncture. I'm gonna go in there and see how deep that goes up in there. I think it's just into that muscle and he's got some swelling, so it's kind of in that I don't tendon. know how that would happen. That, um, oh, I was looking around trying to see if there was something on the how fence. Did that even happen? Yeah. They find ways to injure themselves. They they will make them up. <laughs> they will make them up. But he, he's gonna be okay. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. There you go, man. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Go ahead, man. That's you what know. I need. Yeah. We'll Here. come back. Yeah. So. Yeah. So. <laughs> Well, also, we didn't want to leave because we got a serious mission. Thank you. Know? you. Oh, okay. Yeah, hey, because I'm high, because I'm high, because I'm high. Are you really high, though, man? He really is high, man. Shoop, shoop, shooby-doo-wah. Get jiggy with it. Skippity-bee-bop.